Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, first of all, Merry Christmas to all of you and Happy New Year in advance. Okay, so I hope you are enjoying your festival season. And guys, for 2023 batch students, the Deloitte hiring has started from 26th and 20 uh, on 26th December and 27th December. There are exams that are that will be taking place. So I have already made a video regarding the slot booking process and how to prepare for your exam okay so in this video as i promised you that i will be making the uh, previously asked coding questions in deloitte exam okay so this is a preparation video for 2023 batch students i, I have told you already that uh, the exam is starting from 26 december as well as on 27 december there is exam for deloitte and it is for 2023 batch students okay so in this video i will be discussing one question and uh, again uh, today only I will be uploading a next video also in which I will be discussing the second question that were asked previously in Deloitte. So make sure that you are watching this video till the end and guys for daily update for regarding placements as well as for Deloitte hiring also kindly make sure that you are subscribing to this channel because I am trying my best to give you information as fast as possible. So slot selection mails have started coming from yesterday only okay. So I have uh, updated you regarding those news also and for similar news and similar hiring processes in future make sure that you are subscribing this channel as well as uh, uh, sharing this channel among your friends okay so guys now let's start this video okay so in this video first of all i will be discussing the question then i will tell you how to approach that question and in the final part of the video i will tell you about how to code that particular question okay so let's start this video and before starting the video please hit the like button okay so guys the question that i'll be discussing in this video is the process string question okay so again i have told you that this question was asked last year in deloitte exam only so make sure that you're watching this till the end okay first i'll be discussing the question then the approach of this question and then the coding part of this question i will be discussing okay so process strings so in this uh, uh, in this particular question there is an input string that is alphanumeric is given okay so in input alphanumeric string is given what is an alphanumeric string Alpha numeric, uh, numeric string is a string which contains both alphabets as well as numbers. So you can see here the alphabets are also there, ABC is also there, and numbers like 6, 5 are also there. So this, this is our input string that is alphanumeric in nature. Okay. Our task is to form the string of indexes wherein the number appears in input string. So see, this is the entire easy question, but first of all, you will have to understand what question is saying. Our task is to form the string of indexes wherein number appears in input string so i know that by reading the question you did not get the clarity of how what uh, what is expected from us now let's just see the test cases okay so first of all our input value will be the alphanumeric string that is uh, containing both alphabets as well as numeric digits okay now what is our output so our output will be the string of indexes wherein the number appear in the input string okay so here you can see in output uh, a string of number is given to us that is 3, 4, 6, 7, 10, 11. So what does these numbers represent? So let's just see that. Okay. So guys, these numbers are indexes of the numbers which are occurring in the input string. Again, I am repeating. These are the uh, indexes which are representing the numbers occurring in the input string. Okay. So see here, we know that indexing starts from zero. So A is at 0th index, B is at first index, C is at uh, C is at uh, second index and then coming 6, 6 is at third index. So 6 is the number. So therefore we have formed, uh, we have uh, appended 3 in our answer here. Now 5 is at fourth index. So therefore we have appended 4 here. So we have to find the, in the input string, we have to find the indexes of the, uh, of the characters which are in, uh, which are in number that is. 6 is the number, so we will find the index of 6. 1 is a number, we will find the index of 1. Here, uh, 0 is a number, we will find the index of 0. And then finally, 9 is the number, we will find the index of 9. So all this indexing, we will, all these indexes, we will uh, store in the string format in the answer and later on print it. Okay. So again, I am telling you, this 3 index belongs to 6, 4 index belongs to 5, 6 index belongs to 1, 7 index belongs to 9. Uh, here, this is not 1 this will be 10 okay so 10th index belongs to this 0 and similarly this 11th index belongs to this 9 so we have taken all the indexes indexes of the numbers in the input string and we have appended them in a in the output string okay so i hope now this test case is clear to you if there are still doubts let's just see uh, let's just see what is the test case 2 okay 
So here our input string is again alphanumeric 0, 1, 2, A, B, D, H, 5, 2. Okay. So again, 0 here represents the index of this 0, 1 here represents the index of this 1, 2 here represents the index of this 2, uh, 7 here represents the index of this 5 and 8 here represents the index of this 2. Okay. So this was the entire question that is we will be given an alphanumeric string wherein we will have to find the indexes of every number that is occurring and we will simply append those indexes in the form of string and we will simply output our answer. Okay. So now I hope that your I hope that the question is clear to you and guys this is a very easy question you can expect in any of the exams since Deloitte is giving 6 LPA plus package so it is this particular question is on the easy side only okay so I hope now the question is clear to you now let's just move towards the code part that how we will be writing the code see I do not need to tell you the approach of this particular question because I will be dry running this code only line by line so you will automatically get that get that thing that what we are doing in this particular question in this particular code okay so first of all string str that is we, uh, we will be taking our string as input that will be in alphanumeric in nature okay now we know that our output will be the indexes of the numbers which are present in the input string in the form of string only so we have taken a new string answer okay initialized with the empty string okay now what will you be doing we will be iterating over this string we will be iterating over our input string that is starting from index 0 till the length of the string we will be iterating over our string okay now at every index at every index we will be checking at every index we will be checking whether this character whether the character at that particular index is a number or an alphabet we will be again i'm telling you at every position we will be checking whether that character is an alphabet or a number if it is a number if it is a number then we will simply append the index of that number in our answer string so again i'm telling you if it is a number that is this is the condition to find whether a current uh, current character is a number or not so if this is if the current character is a number then what we'll do we'll simply append the index of that number in our answer string like this so answer is plus equal to 2 underscore string i so 2 underscore string is an inbuilt function that will that you will use in this bits library okay the, which you will find in this bits library so again i'm telling you we will iterate over the entire string at every index we will be checking with whether that character is a number or not if that character is a number then we will be appending the index of that number in our answer string okay like this and we will be using this two string method to convert that index into the string format okay now in the end after this for loop is over we will simply print our answer variable okay so let's just run on this particular thing this particular input we should run let's just see what is the output so output here it is already given so it is correct let's just run our uh, next particular test case okay so let's just see what the answer will be coming and guys still the code is running if you have not liked the video till now please like it please subscribe the channel because more such videos will be coming from tomorrow onwards the uh, co uh, exam is starting so i will try to post the coding questions which were asked in which will be asked in those exams also so kindly hit that subscribe button and do share this video among your friends so let's just see what is the output our output is 0 1 2 7 8 and what was our expected output it was 0 1 2 7 8 only so our code is running perfectly fine and it will pass all the test cases that will be given to you so guys i hope the question as well as the coding part of this question was clear to you more videos will be coming today only so please hit that subscribe button so that the first notification goes to you okay so i hope all the things were good in this video and thank you for watching this video and do hit that subscribe button